Hi, my name is Laurent Charlet. And my name is Rizlan bernier Lamani. I'm professor at the University of Grenoble Alps in France in the Earth Science Institute. And I'm a professor at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, EPFL, in Lausanne, Switzerland, in the Institute of Environmental Engineering. My specialty is water geochemistry, from the molecular scale to the large field scale. And my specialty is environmental microbiology, particularly how microorganisms impact cycling of elements and the mobility of contaminants. While my focus is on biological processes, Laurent's interests lie in abiotic controls of contaminant mobility. Because in the environment, biological and chemical processes are intimately intertwined, we have teamed up to develop this new course integrating biological and chemical concepts at work in the environment. UGA is partnering with EPFL to develop this online course, or MOOC, an introduction to how natural, biological, and abiotic processes impact water quality. Why should you care about water quality? Maybe you know that one out of five people in the planet don't have access to clean water. Maybe you wonder why your drinking water comes from the ground, rather than from rivers or lakes. Maybe you know about chromium contamination in the Niger River that's due to tanneries. Maybe you have heard about stories in the news about contaminated drinking water in Michigan, USA. Or perhaps you were aware of the 80 million people affected by arsenic contamination in the Belkan Delta. In this course, we will learn about the mechanisms, both biotic and abiotic, controlling the quality of water for drinking and industrial purposes. We will discuss the genesis of mineral water as well as how microorganisms and soils actually protect us from contamination caused by many human activities. The course will start by introducing general geochemical and biological concepts that you will need to unlock the complexity of case studies we will discuss in the second part of the course. Soil particles as well as microorganisms can remove and transform contaminants and thorough understanding of these transformations is needed to ensure the safety and sustainability of our environment, particularly the high quality of water available to the public. In this course, you will learn, for instance, how the breakdown of mountains lead to soil on which all civilizations rely. In this course, you will also learn about the different ways in which microbes cycle elements, for example, how they can transform contaminant forms of nitrogen into beneficial forms. This course is designed for scientists, engineers, policymakers, and practitioners whose decision making will be improved by gaining a detailed understanding of processes at work in the environment. Throughout the course, we will provide real-life examples of natural and man-made contamination and will explore how humans impact both global and local fluxes of compound necessary for life as well as compounds destructive to human society. I hope you'll join us for this exploration of how natural systems work on this planet and how we can utilize this, this knowledge to address problems arising from rapid changes in urban and natural environments. In the future, you will have to cope with human-dominated environments. You will learn how natural ecosystems have evolved to provide clean water, and you will have to use this knowledge to design sustainable cities. And whether you're working on providing drinking water to a mega city or remediating contaminated sites, we want to learn from you, particularly about site-specific challenges you're facing. Please share your experiences with us and with the other students in the course. We, we look, look forward, forward to, to working, working with, with you. you.